No me des ojo. <laughs> you gotta keep that, keep that in the line. Word, <laughs> a crow? <laughs> like shit's creep? Uh, all right, guys, we are at a new gym. Well, it's not a new gym. We've been here before. It's Bossletics. Um, what is this area called? Huh? Dickinson, Dickinson Texas. Gonna take some pre-workout. I did spin this morning. I feel really good. Had some carbs. And um, I'm gonna take some pre-workout now. Legend Bubblicious Lighting Lemonade. I love all the Bubblicious flavors. I'm all out of my all out flavor, which I actually really like too. But this is the one we're taking today. I think we're gonna, what are we gonna work out? Legs? Legs for the, for the men? For us. Legs so when we on that table in the summer. I don't know what men you're talking about. <laughs> Look at your man, he doesn't even, he has no chill. Calmate. You're not even, you haven't even taken a free workout yet. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Why are you And welcome back to another dark sport haul. I haven't done one in a minute, in a minute, but this one's a really important collection, a really big collection. This is the Ohana collection launching this Sunday. I think it's always the same time, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, and that means it's 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So all the details will be down below, uh, but um, yeah, it's a really important launch. We just went to Hawaii to take some content. So all the content that you guys have been seeing, we did that in Hawaii and it was a great shoot and all the stuff that are coming out are the things that are coming out are just like beautiful. Um, not only in the she collection and the men's collection, so many things are coming out, which I'm really excited for. I'm literally going to splurge on the hubby. <laughs> That's if we can get our hands on everything. I know you guys, Ask me all the time, like, how can I get my hands on these pieces? They sell out so fast. Be ready. That's all I can tell you. Like, even me, like, I have to be on there ready. Everything is ready, like, to go. Card, PayPal, in case I use PayPal, whatever. I'm on one laptop. Chris is on a la another laptop. We literally have a spreadsheet of, like, the preview already went live. So we already have a spreadsheet of what items he's getting, what items I'm trying to get. And if we have to pay multiple shipping, we're going to pay multiple shipping just because things sell out so fast. So just be ready to go. Like it sucks to say, but like if you're out and about at a dinner or like at a, you know, at a party at event, like, and you're just kind of going through, like you're not gonna get what you want. Like you have to be prepared. That's part of it. It's like every other brand and like, that's like, hype and it's one of a kind when nike shoes drop what are you doing you're on the site you're ready to go my alarm is literally up and ready 10 15 minutes before nike drops its shoes it's the same way like it is what it is and you know i think it's amazing that we as like a company dark sport has grown so much and so many people want their hands on it and it's an amazing thing i know it sucks for some of you guys because you can't get hands on the things that you want but that's part of it like the people that are on that are really loyal to the company and to the brand they're gonna get their hands on it right so if you really want some pieces just be ready to go if you have some things in your cart stop like guessing what size is and which one you should get know what you're gonna get purchase that then come back on later and get other things that you want if they still have them in stock that way you don't lose out but i get the question all the time i know some of you guys are like angry about it i don't know how to help you more than just the information i gave you so Anyways, so let's get into today's Ohana drop. I am size small and everything I'm gonna be showing you guys all around. So for those asking me, size small, I'm saying this in the beginning because typically I'll say it at the end. Write it down so you don't forget. Size small, size small top, size small bra, size small short, size small leggings. Now going forward with everything that I try on, I'll let you know how it fits. But all around, I'm size small. My weight right now, I think I weighed myself the other day, it was 136, which is probably the highest I've been in a long time. And my measurements, I have no idea. I 
my breast size doesn't really change. I think I'm a, probably any, in between a 34 and a 36 double D. And um, my other measurements, I haven't measured myself. If I had to take a guess, glutes are probably what, baby? Like a 38? I don't know, 37, 38. Um, waist is probably like a 25, 26 right now. I'm not as lean as I usually am, so let's say 26-ish. Um, but those, I think, are roughly my measurements. I am 5'4", and I think that's pretty much it. 5'4", 136 pounds. I'll show you guys how everything fits all around. So let's get into it. I will be having my phone because I wanna make sure I give you guys the names of everything correctly. So right now I am wearing one of their cropped uh, sweaters. This is the She Ohana Forever Wyoming Cropped Hoodie in Lush Green, size small. As you guys can see, it has the Ohana here. It does have a hoodie in the back. It's cropped. This is how it fits. Sleeves are pretty good length too. I'm not too short, not too long. And I like that I have some room. I don't like things that are too tight. So uh, like hoodie wise, and this fits really, really nice. And then I'm wearing the shorts. These shorts are actually like paired with the Eversun, but I really wanted to pair it with this today for the um, podcast. This is the She Howl Forever Tyler shorts in lush green. So it's the same green, lush green. They're really nice. These are in size small. They're a little bit more oversized, which I like because the Everson shorts, I believe, are a lot shorter. They usually come up to like here for me. So I really, really like how um, these fit. So yeah, this is look number one. And then at the end, I'll show you, I'll, um, or as I'm going through it, I'll let you guys know which ones are my favorite look. Do I love this look? Yes. Is this like my top pick? No, just because of what I usually wear, but I wanted to show you guys what this looks like. All right, let's move on to the next look. All right, guys, so this is actually probably one of my, it's actually my favorite look. I love it. I wore it the other day at the gym. If you saw it on my Instagram, you guys already saw it. Literally just took it out of the dryer because I love this look. So this green color, I think it's one of my favorite green colors that they've launched. It's just beautiful. So I don't have the um, jacket on, but this is the She How Forever Everson mock neck sweater in lush green. So the color is lush green. It's really warm inside my house right now, so I'm not trying it on. But it's just like all the other Everson mock neck sweaters that they've launched. Um, really good size, goes about goes to about here and then it has the string here where you can adjust it um, and it pairs very nice with the pants and these are the she how forever premium post lounge sweats and lush green i'm a size small oversized fit which is what i like especially right now in the winter i like to just throw them on my shorts if i want to train in shorts if i get warm i can take them off so the top that i paired it with this one is beautiful and my favorite it's the she mori uh, racing jersey in cream lush green I love it. I think it pairs with that with the sweats really nicely with the green. And just overall, I just think it's like such a like badass look. So this is what the front looks like. Um, it is like jersey material right here. And then this is what the back looks like. So nice. I mean, I know it's long sleeve and the summer's coming around the corner, but I definitely, this is like one of my musts. I just think it looks so, so nice. I do have one of my favorite sets launching underneath. So let me take this off and I'll show you guys what I kind of paired it with. All right, guys. So this is the She Our Royalty Katya Slingless Shorts in Black Tan Native Camo. This is beautiful. I love this color. Chris was a really big fan of this color. Um, the Katya ones are shorter seamed here so the, the the not the seam the waistband is not as long this way so it is shorter which i like i don't know if you guys have seen but when i wear my seamless ones i typically like go like fold them just because they're really they fit me really really long so i love these i don't feel like i have to fold them i fit like i feel like they fit my body really perfectly so if you don't own any of the seamless ones, I know it's gonna be hard to compare to, but if you own a pair of the seamless shorts, see how the waistband fits and kind of go, kind of fold it in half and that's where they, these are gonna fit. That's how much they fit on your waist. And they are a little bit shorter, I will say that. Um, they're the same kind of tightness around my thighs. I did wash these, I did, I did find that they're a little bit tighter now that I washed them, but usually they stay like this. And then this is the back. So they're a little bit shorter, like I said, this, like usually they come down to around right here on me. Right now they're coming like right below my butt cheek. So they are, they are shorter. So just expect that. And then I paired it with the same bra, the She Our Royalty Seamless Everson Sports Bra in black tan native camo. Um, it has the logo here. I also think, let me look at, 
It doesn't have a logo in the back, but this is what it looks like in the back. And it clips in the back. You can adjust the straps too. I don't have anything adjusted right now, so you know it's fitting me. It's like kind of coming down. But when it's adjusted, it fits me perfectly. Um, what else did I want to say? I wanted to say something else about the bra. It clips. It adjusts. It's size small. Honestly, it fits really, really nice. Like the the this. Seamless Everson bra, they've done a really good job fixing everything that they needed to fix and it fits really, really nicely now. I do feel like it gives me support. It does have padding in right now and I do take off the padding. I don't normally just take it out, but when I wash it, the padding sometimes comes out and then after the padding's out, I am just one of those people that I'm like, I'm not gonna try putting it in, but it does have padding and without padding, it's fine too. Like it, I don't feel like, would I go running in this bra? Probably not. Maybe with the padding I would, but if you guys can see, like, I, it's not something that I'm going to be doing, like, high intensity, like, jumping movements in the gym. But it's perfect for everyday training and everyday wear. One of my favorite colors, like I said, I love the short style. Doesn't, I don't have to fold it. But I did want to be honest with you guys as far as, like, where it fits and how short it is. I am actually wearing regular underwear right now, like an actual thong. Um, let me show you guys. So it is kind of thick right here on the waistband and you can't really see it as you guys can see you can see a little bit right here it's folded but it's pretty thick and right here you can't really see it i do wear underwear with everything i'm not one of those that just goes commando i just can't i i feel violated it's weird but i always wear my seamless thongs you can get them Victoria's Secret anywhere. Victoria's Secret is where I get mine and they go well with any of the seamless shorts But I just wanted to show you guys what like a regular thong looks like and this is what it looks like So let me do a full spin for you guys All right, let's go on to the next look I did want to mention with these two um, That it does have detailing like on this part right here on the glute part that makes it look like it's see-through but it's not see-through and i'm going to do a squat test and a deadlift test for you girls um so here's the squat test and this is the deadlift test they do as you can see right up a little bit just i think it's just because they're so short on my thigh um, I don't know if I could have sized up. I feel like the small fits me perfectly right here. If I would have sized up, I think, yeah, they would have been a little bit more comfortable, but I think the rolling up is just part of the shorts. I think sometimes when you have shorter shorts, they just tend to ride up more. And girls, we got the thick thighs, so it's just part of it. But I wanted to show you guys what it looked like actually squatting and doing a deadlift. Like I said, not see-through, but there is pattern that makes it look like it's a little bit of see-through. Um, but overall, great color. I love it. It looks beautiful on everyone that I've seen wear it so highly recommend this one as a must all right guys so i wanted to show you guys what a, another like typical look for me would be um which would be like a large t-shirt i do love their oversized t-shirts so um it's just oversized for me because i get a size large i prefer the oversized look especially like on my like they're they're perfect pump cup pump covers i say it all the time like when i'm having a bad bloated day or whatever it still makes me feel really good in the gym because it's like covers this area but it shows like my glute pump and i'll show you guys how i wear the shirt but this one is i can't i don't know i didn't look for the name but it has like the pink del detailing here and it matches with the pink shorts that i have on right now and then there's the detailing in the back like this so typically what i'll do is I'll just tuck this back in like this. I just don't want to get it wrinkly right now. I'll tuck it from the back here and then I'll let this kind of hang. So this will be like my pump cover in the gym and then it kind of goes up like this so it still shows off the booty, which I really like. But I wanted to show you guys the set underneath, so I'm gonna take this off. All right, so these are the Everson Seamless Shorts in Cloud Pink native camo the also the everson uh, seamless bra in the same color pink native camo is a color so just like the other bra um, it has a design here it has the straps that are, are adjustable in the back and i believe these can clip as well um, but the the straps are adjustable i wear these bras all the time they're really really comfortable they're seamless this is a size small i don't feel like it cuts into my back very much um the only time is like if i am a little bit thicker it does like you can you know, for my lats right here, I do tend to hold a little bit of extra weight there. But other than that, I don't feel like even right now being at my highest weight, um, I don't feel like I've had to size up in anything. So the bra goes really well with the shorts. I did want to mention the shorts. So as you guys saw the Katya shorts, the band was 
smaller. It was thinner. It would be in the, yeah. So with it was thinner. This one is thicker. As you guys can see, it's thicker here. So for someone who wants more belly coverage, it's good. But for me, like I feel like right here, it's 10, like my body, right? I don't like this. So for me, I typically fold it like this and it gives it kind of like two dimensions too. And I feel like it sits on me better. It hugs my waistline. Um, I just, I, prefer the way it looks versus here. I just like it here. Like I feel like on my body, this is what looks the best for me. Uh, also, as you guys can see, these are longer. So they fit longer here. The other ones comparable were like here. So compare that to this. I mean, it probably won't look cute right now that I'm doing that, but that's pretty much the difference. So these, the, the Katya ones are a lot shorter than these, just the regular Everson seamless, seamless ones. And they do go up the butt though, which is what I like. As you guys know, seamless, that's one of my favorite things. It doesn't have a seam in the front and the glute, you know, just looks amazing. I do want uh, squat proof for you guys. So that way you guys can see the color and I'll do a little um, deadlift um, test as well. Squat. And lift. I will say with these, I don't feel like they have a write up. Uh, I worked out with the Katya ones on Saturday. And like I said, you guys saw just by me squatting, they, they, they went up. These, I feel like they never ever move on me. Like they stay in place. I think it's just the, long, the, the length is a little bit longer. So it just helps it stay in place. Uh, but yeah. Seamless ones, even if you don't like the Katya ones, these regular seamless ones are absolutely amazing. They fit amazing. If you don't own a pair, highly recommend that you get one of these first. Um, so yeah, this is the pink set. Next one. All right, guys, so first let's talk about the top. This one is one of my favorites. I love, first of all, I love all their energy tops. Um, they're usually the long sleeve ones. This one is the sleeveless armor one. So it's the armor sleeveless energy top in black. Love it. This is going to be like, I wear this in spin. I wear these to go out. These are my favorite. I'm actually not wearing a bra right now. If I have the choice of wearing a bra or not wearing a bra, always, always go without a bra. Sometimes I go literally about to step out the door and then Chris is like, let me check you. <laughs> let me make sure you can't see nothing because I'm always without a bra. Like I just, I'm just more comfortable that way, but you can't see anything. Now, if I'm going to spin class or something, I'm obviously going to put on a bra just because this does not give like actual bra support. But if I'm just going out and about, I'm not wearing a bra with this, but I love this top. It has a logo here. I'm not sure it has anything on the back, but it does have the uh, wording here on the side. Is that wording on the side? No wording on this side. Fits really nice, size small, love it. Really good size too, like it's, it fits perfectly, not too short, not too long. And then I paired it with these leggings, guys. So these are seamless leggings. I don't know what the color of these are. I have a feeling these launched in the Batman collection and I'm just now getting them in my package because they're not on the website. But I did want to still talk about leggings because um, I, didn't, I didn't get any of the new colors launching, but all the seamless leggings are the same. So even though this, is, this one's a different color, they all fit the same. I wish I would have gotten one of the new, newer colors, like the lighter colors, so I could tell you. But I'm pretty positive, mostly all leggings that um, Dark Sport comes out with, they're not see-through. I don't think I've had anything that's see-through at all. The only thing that I will say is that it is very thin. So these are thin. So the only thing about, they are very thin in the sense, like if you are doing a straight leg deadlift, right? And you are in some dude's face, sometimes you can see the outer line of your coochie. Okay? Like I don't personally, I, if I'm gonna do a straight leg deadlift, I will make sure it's like at a Smith machine or I am out of the way. Like I'm not standing in front of the mirrors with the guys behind me and I'm just like, getting it right but i tend to do that with any of my leggings but that's the only thing because it is very like it's very thin material it's the same material as the seamless shorts 
but that's one of the things that I love about it because I feel like it hugs my shape really, really nicely. I love that it goes in my butt. You, I'll show you guys right now when I turn around. Most of them always have the logo here or they'll have a, like a logo on the bottom. Um, the waistband is exactly like the shorts. As you guys can see, it's pretty long on me, okay? I don't like it this long, so I will fold it. And these are a small and I have pretty much a good amount of space. I think if in the summertime, I will be, in the summertime, what I mean, I'm, if I get down to my goal weight of like 127, I will probably start to size down to an extra small in these, but I'll probably stay small on the shorts because I do like the shorts to not be super tight on my thighs. But with the leggings, I feel like, as you can see, there's extra material here for me, so I could size down to an extra small of like literally in a few pounds. But other than that, it's not bad. I could stick to the, to the size small and be very, very comfortable. So this is how it fits from the front. And then this is how it fits from the back. As you guys can see, it goes, I like to pull them into the glute, makes the booty look nice and juicy, which is what I like. And like I said, most of them are very much squat proof. Straight leg, as you can see, like what I mean by straight leg is like, that you know it's nothing crazy it's not like you can see it but i'm just i'm a married gal right i'm a little bit more conservative when it comes to those things i gotta think about that because if not chris is already eyeball eyeballing me across the gym telling me get in the corner so i <laughs> uh, just wanted to point that out but other than that you know i still have those underwear on as you can see so you might be able to see the little outline of it Chris says, no, you can't see them behind the camera. So you can wear, honestly, regular underwear with these or the seamless if you're that picky about it, but it's honestly a preference. So I love this set. I'm actually gonna throw on biker shorts so that you guys can see this top and the biker short combo. All right, guys, so the shorts are She Shield Energy Biker Shorts. So they pair very well with the energy top. As you guys can see, there's the logo here on this side and it matches the scripture, yeah, on this side, right? on this side, the logo here and here, it just flows really well together. And I also threw on the She Loyalty Armor cycling jersey um, in black because this jersey, if you guys saw my photos in, a ha in Hawaii, this is what I was wearing. I love it. It's one of my favorite, honestly, jerseys they've come out with. Like I want to be in this all the time, um, but it just pairs really well. Uh, let me zip it out for you guys so you guys can see what it looks like. It does have this like material on the inside that kind of like sticks. Oh, I want to say sticks to you. What is like a bubbly right here? I want to know what to call it. Yeah, grips. There we go. That's a word. The word that I'm looking for. It grips you. Super lightweight. Perfect to throw on like on top of your sports bra too. Like if you just want to wear your sports bra to class and then put this on top and it pairs well with the spiker short. Look, I'm about to go on my bike. Like it just looks so good. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys what this looks like. I paired this with this swimsuit too and it just makes me feel like I'm in Malibu or something. So nice. Um, with the shorts, there is a seam here in the middle. Um, I know that's not everyone's preference, but I do feel like right now it's actually doing really good not giving me a camel toe. I am wearing the same underwear though and they are a little bit thicker cottony. So that might help, but you guys can obviously see them in the lines right here, they're a little bit more prominent. So this is something I would wear with my seamless undies, maybe a little liner, a pad liner, so that you know you can't see anything. If you guys have watched my previous YouTube hauls, you guys know that I always wear panty liners with my seamless shorts if I'm wearing something with a front seam. That way it doesn't give you a camel toe. And vaginal health, you guys. <laughs> and then this is the, um, the length of them, I do have them a little bit pulled up. They can go more down, but I'm not gonna wear them like that. So I just kind of pull them up a little bit. I do put them in my glutes, so it gives it a little bit more shape, but overall, these are beautiful shorts. The material is a little bit more uh, stretchier, spandexy than the other material. The other material is like softer. What's the word for the other material? I wouldn't even know. This is more like spandexy polyester, whereas the other one, I, I guess it's a softer cottony feel than this. Super nice guys, especially for you ladies that don't want to have shorts that are too short. They're perfect for that.
All right, on to the next one. All right, guys, let's talk about the bodysuit because everyone wants to know about the bodysuit. So this is In the Clouds Sophia bodysuit in black. I'm actually really glad that I got the black. The other color is ocean blue, which is beautiful, but I just prefer black on me. So overall, it's a size small, which I was like a little nervous about. I was like, okay, how is it gonna fit me? But I do feel like it fits perfectly. It fits me really nice. It contours, it has like a seam right here in the waistline. So it kind of cinches you in a little bit, which I really like. The straps on this are great. I'm actually not wearing a bra right now. So just want to clarify that. I think if I'm going to wear this out, not to work out, honestly, even to work out, like if I'm going to go do legs, I'm not going to wear a bra. I don't, I don't need any chest support, right? Like the only thing I ever do with my chest is like go like this when I'm working out like this. But if I was going to do upper body in this, then I would definitely wear a bra just because I'm a little bit more cautious. I don't think a bra is actually needed if you're going to go out and about. Granted, I also have like breast implants, guys. So mine just kind of like sit pretty nicely um, but just want to show you guys there's like it's it's pretty like it's not super thin which I like so it's not going to show any unless my nipples get hard it's not going to show too much um, but yeah overall really love the fit of this uh, it does it's something you have to put on like this though it's like a bodysuit so if you're like peeing in the bathroom you gotta like take it all out but I am wearing those underwear so you can see them a little bit just kind of want to show that because it is it's not on the thicker material but it's still a little thin so you can see that here but it doesn't have a seam here in the middle so that's perfect um, the length I actually really like the length so you can see the logo here and the logo here on the side the length is actually really really good I don't feel like it's too short or too long it's like perfect the only thing that I will say about these that I am not the biggest fan of is that the seam for your glute goes on top of your glute versus in the butt and I'll show you guys what I mean so this seam right here just sits right I wish the seam would go in so if you're a person who doesn't care about your 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 the seam going into your glutes, then it's perfect. I think it's still a beautiful, beautiful bodysuit. But the seam sits on top right here versus inside right here. That's my only complaint about the bodysuit. But other than that, I love, I think it's beautiful. I definitely feel like this is like a, a, t a really good take, like a sportier take of the Aritzia bodysuits, which I really like too. I have like the full pant one. I think it's beautiful. You throw on like a hoodie or if even like you throw on, well, this is kind of, yeah, it's high up there. But even if you throw up like a crop top, a cropped hoodie, like this is a whole look. So if you're into bodysuits, I would definitely get this one. If I was stuck between this one and the blue one, I'm a black girl. As you guys know, I love black. I would choose the black just because I feel like, especially if you are not on the thinner side. This is going to contour you a lot better. Uh, the other color might show more of like, um, you know, little dips and ridges and things like that. So I would preferably choose the black over the blue, but overall love this bodysuit. Let me do a whole twirl for you guys. Okay. All right guys, so I had the set. They sent me the set. This is a Shield Everyday Sports Bra in Ocean Blue. I had the leggings to go with it, which are the, let me pull them up. The She With Honor Bow Leggings in Ocean Blue. I had requested those leggings in extra small before. They're not fitting me in an extra small. They're way too tight. So I would definitely stick to a size small, stick to true to size. But I just wanted to show you guys what this everyday bra looked like. So it's fits really nicely it has the padding here there's not adjust it's not adjustable strap so just make sure you get something true to size but it's a really nice bra the only um thing with these is that if you don't find the correct size or if you get it too big then when you're like doing shoulder press and things like that it can tend to like move a little bit as you guys can see it like starts kind of going down so just make sure you get something true to size i would still like on my upper body days i still i still prefer the seamless bras over the everyday bra just because of that adjustable strap it makes me feel very very secure like nothing is going to show i also wanted to put on this top which is i have the tag right here the hardcore nikita curve tank which i'm really excited because i love all their tanks um the only thing with these are that they are see-through so your girl she likes to wear things without a bra she's not going to be able to wear this one without a bra it's like completely see-through like you would be able to see everything so it's cute to just put on under on top of a bra i love the way it fits in the front and then the back design is really pretty 
So these shorts, I think they're, they've already launched, but these are like the Katya. These are just like more of the, I think these are like the woof for gray ones. They're not launching um, for the Ohana. I think these are like past collection. Anyways, they were my packs, so I just put them on. Tank is really cute. Back is really pretty. Something I would definitely wear to go out and just put like my bra underneath. It's super, super nice. All right, we are moving on. I'm gonna show you guys some tops and then we're moving on to the last item, which is swimsuits all right guys if you guys are going to get any of the uh crop toadies too like the crew necks this one's the she native wolf gwen cropped crew neck and cream this one is beautiful i love the design on the front um it does have like gray and black flowers with the green so it matches a lot of the things that are launching in this collection like if you guys are going to get the um leggings in that green color beautiful little combination this looks really good with the sweats as well or the shorts like it's beautiful so this one's one of my must-haves tops like hoodies or like crew necks or whatever because they just it i love the design and i love the style and i love the cream color and it fits really really nicely and then oh it does have the wolves on the back so i wanted to show you guys and i just really like this part of it i think it looks really really nice um i did get a size small and then i just wanted to show you guys some of the tees that i got as well this is um i know this one's on the she side so this is one of the she uh shirts that are dropping let me open it for you guys And then this color, guys. Oh my God, girls, these are, this is such a beautiful one. It's like an orangey peach. And the back has like browns. So, 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 so pretty. So I just, as you guys know, I get my pump covers, my large tees because like I said, I love to wear them with my shorts, with my leggings on days that I don't want to show the tummy or just in days in general. I feel like that's my vibe and I feel like that's what everyone is kind of leaning towards nowadays anyways. So that is it for the haul. I have a few shirts here and there, but that's mostly everything that I got as such as pairs. Um, let me just try on the bikini for you girls so that you guys can see how it fits um, because I've had a lot of questions about that. All right, guys. So I threw the white cycling jersey on just because I wanted to give you guys the look that i was telling you guys about so this is the she dual wolf nikita triangle top in lush green so as you guys can see like the color palette is very lush greenish which i love this color green is really pretty so the uh, other green is a little bit more brighter this is more of like a sagey green but i am a size small so i just wanted to show you guys what it looks like with this top on let me take the top off so you guys can see how it fits so this is a size small i feel like it gives me really good coverage it's super soft let me see if, like if i was like it's not even like regular swimsuit material it's like a softer swimsuit material it's so soft like almost like almost on the cotton feel of soft it's really nice this is a size small and i feel like it gives me perfect amount of coverage here um it just straps on here and in the back and then the bikini underwear what, what bikini bottoms i don't know why i like just long long hauls just take so much out of you guys um anyways the bikini bottoms has the wolves here gives me really good coverage here in the bikini area and i really like the top part here i i feel like if I'm moving along a lot, it might move a little bit just because I do feel like it's one of those that kind of like, it, it starts here and then it will probably tend to slide down a little bit. But I'm just like super picky. I like my like super high waist like this, but definitely maybe like with like some boob tape here, won't even budge. And the back is, let me fix it before I go on camera like that. So it's like this, I guess with me moving it kind of like this. This is what I would wear it, cause let me fix it thong off camera. So if you wear it thong like, I have a, okay, I have a tan line. Do not judge this circle tan line from where my butt cheek got stuck on the tanning machine. But this is how it would look if you were going to wear it thong like, but it goes like this, okay? So this is what it looks like, size small on the bottoms, same kind of material, very, very soft, very, very pretty look. Um, overall really like it. I tend to wear a little bit more thong like bikinis in the summer, but this is definitely one I'll be wearing. Um, like I said, the only thing, if I had a negative thing to say about the bikini set is that I do feel like it would, there's not enough grip here. And maybe, maybe I could size down maybe to like an extra small and that would, I wish I would have asked for an extra small so I could have compared. Maybe that would have made this grip a little bit more, but 
overall really really like it and of course i have the black as well i'm gonna probably wear the black one more often but let me throw on some clothes let me throw on a t-shirt and then i'll get into some answering some questions that i feel like i did answer all right guys so i'm going to answer some questions that about sizing and things like that that i feel like i didn't answer so again because someone's gonna ask me i was wearing size small all around i got a pair of the extra small in the um not the seamless legging but the other one and it was way too small um but all right if you are going to if you are in between sizes and you don't know whether to size up or size down i would say as you guys saw my small it's almost like too big i could definitely size down to an extra small in the leggings but in the shorts and the sports bra, i wouldn't size down because of the length and the shorts because it might make them even shorter if you don't care about that then it's fine but the bras are something i wouldn't size down on for sure um if you're in between sizes i would just if you're in between extra small and small just do the small small medium just do the medium just because that'll give you the most coverage and for me i hate more than anything if a sports bra is tight on my lats i do not like that i would definitely recommend sizing up a size on the bras if that's a concern but with leggings you can size down in the seamless i wouldn't size down in the other ones what was the other ones called let me just i, I want to make sure i have the name the honor bow leggings in ocean blue is the one i got and anything that's not seamless i would say stay true to your size or size up because um like i said the extra small and that was way too tight i did want to talk about these that i didn't get i am not the biggest fan of these i got one of the leggings last time did not like that seam right in the middle but i saw it on someone else and i actually really liked it so it just depends on your body type if you hold fat in um i guess the the fupa area here um i do i hold a little bit of uh you know water weight in my lower abdomen and i don't like it which is the she wolf patch airport shorts and i got the airport leggings last time and i just did not like them i don't like the seam there's just one seam in the middle and it's a thin seam so it just it did not compliment me at all so i personally would not that's not something that i would get but okay let's get back to questions so i answered the sizing um are they squat proof as you guys can see most of them are i don't think anything i've ever worn from dark sport has been squat proof everything is pretty squat proof um for me let's see opinions on the swim bottoms i know they're not high-waisted so i'm conflicted as you guys can see i did ride them up a little bit more high-waisted but like i said the issue with those is i do feel like they're gonna ride down so it's up to you can you put boob tape on the sides and keep them there probably so you know that's something that you can do personally too like if you're tanning outside i mean they're not going to move yeah i guess the seam or the sides are a little bit more on the thicker side if you are tanning too everyone has their preference but they fit really really nicely how does the rise of the katya shorts compare to the everson go back and watch i told you guys the katya shorts do rise up more than the everson seamless ones um doo -doo -doo -doo. Are the Hanzo shoes good for training legs? Absolutely not. They're literally like um, Crocs. Yeah, they're like Crocs. I would not train in them. They're very comfortable, but I will say I got a size seven and they fit me kind of small. So I would size up with their Converse as well. I would size up. So I'm actually size seven in all my shoes, but in the Converse, I'm an eight or an eight and a half. I think that might be an eight and a half in the Converse. In the Hanzo, I would also size up. Just my toes just hit a lot. So I would size up. Um, but i would not train in the hanzo shoes they're definitely not I, at least i wouldn't um uh da, 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 da. Every, underwear i already told you guys i wear my underwear the onesie like the onesie fit me good i think it's true to size guys you saw it on my body you saw how my swimsuit looks the the onesie fits really good i would if i'm going to the mall i would pick a size small and anything and the small fit me perfect it didn't fit me too tight anywhere i really like the fit of the one the bodysuit so i would just say stick to your true size everyone's here is asking about the sizing how's the sizing how's the si sizing you guys know from the haul what my sizing is um favorite pieces and i'll end it here i think my favorite pieces for sure are the katya um shorts that i was wearing in the beginning um the nude and black combo um beautiful love it the sweats love i just love sweats combo i live in sweats in the winter time like i love putting those on i feel like you know it's my actual like casual outfit when i go out to like if i'm gonna go to the mall or whatever i love throwing it up 
throwing on a nice piece of sweats that doesn't make me look like I'm homeless. And then I'll throw it on with a crop, like a dark sport crop top, like, like one of those tanks. I'm ready to go. Like I don't even need, as long as I have sunglasses on, hair's kind of done, I don't need makeup, anything. And I feel like it's an outfit that's put together. It's not like, oh, just like, she looks bummy, like you actually look really nice. So the sh the, the Katya short set, the uh, um, joggers in the green, <sighs> the bodysuit, I really like. I really like the bodysuit, um, the black one. I'm trying to think of what else. Um, I definitely think that if you don't own anything, you need to start out with the uh, seam just a regular seamless Everson and the uh, leggings, the seamless leggings. You need a pair, okay? Plain and simple, you need a pair. You'll fall in love with them and then upgrade to the Katya ones because they are shorter. But if you're gonna start out with anything, I would do the uh, Everson Seamless in the lush green because that green is so beautiful. I wish I would have gotten it. Or the Ocean Blue Native Camo. That one's really, really pretty. I didn't get it either. They also have it in the cloud pink. You guys saw it in the shorts, but they also have it in the leggings. But the blue camo is beautiful and the lush green is beautiful and it matches. The lush green matches a lot of the tops and like the cropped hoodie that um, I was wearing. I'm trying to look at what else is launching that I'm like. The biker tank, that tank was beautiful. I. I live in my tanks. I live in my long sleeve top, so I would definitely get that. The, um, where is it? The energy top, sleeveless, those colors. I'm, the ocean blue color is beautiful. And the racing jersey is beautiful. The cycling jersey in black and white is a must. That's like something that's like, no questions asked. I have to get that because it goes with my cycling outfit. It goes with like a casual outfit out. You look sporty. I love it and it's a great throw on for your bikinis as you guys saw. So it has multiple uses and it's just like a dark sport vibe if you know what I mean. Like it's just a vibe. So those are my top picks if you're gonna wear, if you're gonna get anything. And then of course their jackets. Their jackets are always uh, super nice but those are always like an extra thing if you guys wanna add them. So yeah, leggings always, ever since seamless shorts next. Katia for this collection, um, jogger set and the tank and the uh, cycling jersey. Beautiful. And then of course, the bikini is really, really nice. But if I'm gonna be shopping for dark sport, I'm trying to get all the athletic wear before I try getting a bikini. That's just my personal choice. But as always, please, please, um, Use my code jazzy10 at checkout. It supports me. It shows the team that you guys support me and it gives you guys a discount. It gives you guys 10% off. So make sure that when you're typing, when you're about to check out, please, please, please. I know we're in a hurry, but double check that it's my code because sometimes it automatically adds someone else's code. So just make sure it's my code jazzy10 really quick um, and it supports me. And of course, if you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. Send me a DM. Just put in the, in the caption right there, a dog short question. And I truly, truly do my best to get to, back to every single one of you who has a questions. But I think overall, I answered everything. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thank you guys so much for your support and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.